The durability of the paintwork of the body is low, which is why all kinds of chips and scratches rapidly appear on it. Also damage to the paintwork can be found on the hood from the side of the windshield. The fact is that to replace the wipers, they need to be switched to the service mode. You should raise the right steering column lever twice with an interval of 0.5 seconds, but many try to pull them out from under the hood, which leads to chipping of the paint. Despite the small age of the model, the inspection of the body must be taken responsibly, since even now on some copies it is possible to find small pockets of rust. The reddish coating most quickly appears in places where the paint is damaged, in chips, joints between the bumper and the body, and in the opening of the luggage compartment. You can also note the insufficient rigidity of the body, which is why cars that often go off-road on the sealant may have cracks, most often in the fifth door opening. A few comments on the reliability of external equipment. Of the main disadvantages, it is worth highlighting the tendency of the mechanisms of exterior mirrors to freeze. You can also note a small resource of the gas stops of the trunk lid. They stop holding the door in the open position, and the LED of the parking lights, they burn out quickly. Often the door locks fail, wedge due to lack of lubrication, and the connection of the rear window washer hoses, which is located in the trunk lid, flies off, after which moisture enters the trunk. Power units for the Nissan Qashqai 2 J11. Three power units are provided. A 2.0-liter gasoline aspirated Mr. 20 to 104-4 HP, 1.2-liter DIGT turbo engine, HRA 2 DDT, 115 HP, and 130 horsepower 1.6-liter turbodiesel, R9M. The most optimal of this list is a 2-liter aspirated, since it is not only the most powerful, but also a fairly reliable unit. Of the minuses of this internal combustion engine, one can only single out a small resource of the timing chain. It stretches on a run of 140-160,000 kilometers and a tendency to coking. Closer to 200,000 kilometers, a progressive oil burner appears, caused by the occurrence of piston rings and the hardening of valve stem seals. In addition, this engine uses a brittle cylinder head, which can become cracked after overheating and over torque when changing spark plugs or bolts. Of the minor troubles, the owners note the unstable operation of the engine, which is often solved by cleaning the throttle and the fragility of the air duct clip. It often breaks when replacing the air filter. The ICE resource often exceeds the mark of 350,000 kilometers. The 1.2-liter HRA 2DDT turbo engine is an exact copy of the Renault H5 FT 1.2 TCE engine, which is used in our popular Renault Logan 2. Among the main disadvantages of this internal combustion engine is increased oil consumption, which manifests itself on almost new cars, and by 100,000 kilometers, it can reach 1 liter per 1,000 kilometers. The reason for this shortcoming is a poorly designed cylinder piston group and the use of low-quality oil scraper rings. The timing chain, which rarely withstands more than 120,000 kilometers, stretches, does not differ in margin of safety. At the same time as the chain, it is recommended to change the phase regulators so as not to go to the service twice. They start to crack after 130,000 kilometers. Another common ailment is the tendency to coke intake valves. The main symptoms of a problem are the unstable operation of the internal combustion engine, speed fluctuates, troit, increased vibrations and spontaneous engine stop at idle. On cars of the first years of production, there were many complaints about problems with starting in cold weather which was eliminated by flashing the ECU. Of the less significant shortcomings, it is worth highlighting the unreliability of the crankshaft oil seals and gaskets. Often the sealing ring of the crankcase ventilation pipe also fails, bursts. The service life of an internal combustion engine rarely exceeds 250,000 kilometers. The R9M diesel engine is also a representative of the French school of engine building. Most often, the diesel Nissan Qashqai 2 suffers from the use of low-quality diesel fuel, due to which fuel injectors, high-pressure fuel pumps, and the USR valve serve less than expected. Also among the common breakdowns are stretching of the timing chain, often needs to be replaced at 160 to 180,000 kilometers, and a short-lived heat exchanger of the USR system. If it malfunctions, a burning smell appears in the cabin. You can also note the unreliability of the start-stop system activation relay, as well as the rapid aging of the valve, cover gasket and oil filter housing. They skip lubrication.
With an improper level of service, by 150,000 kilometers, the performance of the oil pump decreases, which leads to deformation of the camshaft and rotation of the liners. The motor starts knocking. With timely replacement of lubricants and filters, the engine is able to last 400,000 kilometers. Transmission in Nissan Qashqai 2. J11, one of two types of available gearboxes, can be installed. Six-speed manual or extronic JF015 E1.2, JF016 E2.0 and JF017 E1.6 variators. With mechanics, if you do not kill it intentionally, there are no significant problems during operation. Even the clutch kit has to be changed no more than once every 130 to 150,000 kilometers. But the variator can break down at a fairly low mileage. So, for example, for cars with a JF015 E box, expensive repairs can be required after 50,000 kilometers of run, relevant for cars manufactured before 2015. Most often, the breakdown was caused by critical wear of the cones and their bearings, the oil pump pressure reducing valve, and belt stretching. Also in the first copies, a poor quality sun gear was used, which is responsible for turning on the forward reverse gear. It burst at the seam. After modernization in 2015, the resource of these parts has increased significantly. JF016 ECVT produced in 2014 had numerous failures of the valve body and rapid wear of the drive cone due to the use of unfinished software. Due to incorrect settings, the belt carved a groove in the cone. Another typical ailment for this box is the rapid contamination of the oil pump pressure reducing valve. The pulley bearings are also not very successful here, which over time can break their seat in the box body. When developing the variator, the manufacturer abandoned the use of a step motor in favor of regulator solenoids, which are more sensitive to oil purity. It is worth noting that in case of failure of one of the solenoids, the valve body will have to be changed. In the JF017E variator, spline joints are a weak spot which quickly wear out when the car is operated in the slipper to the floor mode. So for example, the splines on the transmission hub can be killed for 50 to 80,000 kilometers. Like other representatives of this type of transmission, this variator painfully endures working on dirty oil. The oil pump pressure reducing valve and the regulator solenoids quickly become dirty. With timely replacement of lubricants, every 40,000 kilometers, CVT are able to serve 200 to 250,000 kilometers without significant repairs. Four-wheel drive at Nissan Qashqai 2, J11. With all-wheel drive, an electromagnetic clutch is responsible for connecting the rear axle. The all-wheel drive system turned out to be quite reliable and performs well on light off-road conditions. Of the minuses, one can single out only the lack of protection for the clutch housing, which is why it is highly likely to be damaged upon contact with branches or stones. The problem is eliminated by installing special protection. Reliability of the suspension, steering and brakes Nissan Qashqai 2. J11, Nissan Qashqai 2 is endowed with an independent suspension with Macpherson struts in front and a multi-link design at the rear. The chassis of this model is comfortable, but at the same time, quite noisy. Extraneous sounds, knocking, squeaks, are most often bothered by silent blocks, strut fenders, bushings, and stabilizer struts. Fortunately, in most cases, the problem can be solved by pulling the bolts and lubricating the joints with WD-40. If we talk about the vulnerable points of the suspension, then in addition to the consumables of the stabilizer, hub bearings, and rear shock absorbers serve less than 100,000 kilometers. The remaining parts of the front axle can last 100 to 150,000 kilometers without replacement and the rear axle up to 200,000 kilometers. Another disadvantage is the tendency to souring breakup bolts and the high cost of original spare parts. So, for example, Bearings are supplied only assembled with a hub and a ball joint with a lever. But the steering was less reliable. Many owners of practically new cars encountered such a nuisance as a creak when turning the steering wheel, which could be eliminated after lubricating the steering column shaft. The resource of steering tips and racks turned out to be quite modest. They start knocking after 50,000 kilometers. Replacing a knock tip does not require large expenses, which cannot be said about the rail. The purchase of a new part is very high, which is why only a worn-out plastic sleeve is often changed in the rail, which is best replaced with a metal counterpart, must be ordered from a turner.
There are complaints about the brakes, in which rubber tubes are not reliable. They swell over time. It is also possible to damage the brake line at the maximum load of the stern. It is rubbed against the body. Salon and electrical equipment the interior design and the quality of finishing materials do not raise any special questions, but the wear resistance of some elements is lame. So, for example, on the steering wheel braid, signs of wear appear in the first 100,000 kilometers. The stuffing of the driver's seat can withstand about the same amount, sitting out. Also, the glossy plastic on the center console scratches, and the dashboard, the protective glass becomes cloudy, are subject to rapid wear. Another disadvantage is the low level of sound insulation of the cabin and the creakiness of the front panel, door cards, and steering column. In winter, due to lack of insulation, condensation forms on the roof, which accumulates in the area of U-200B. U-200B the driver's sun visor. Despite the status of a budget crossover, Nissan Qashqai 2 is quite well equipped. In general, the electronics are reliable. But, nevertheless, some problems make themselves felt from time to time. Most often, the contacts of the KIN bus are let down, located between the computer and the power steering, due to which a garland lights up on the instrument panel and the electric power steering starts to work incorrectly. You can temporarily fix the problem by moving the tire with your hand, but in the future, you still have to restore its contacts. The rear view camera often fails, image quality deteriorates, and the IKEY keyless entry system button. In the event of a malfunction, you will have to change the handle on the driver's door. Many owners complain about a regular battery, which quickly runs out not only in winter, but also in summer. Dealers claim that the problem is not in the battery, but in the ECU firmware, in which the energy consumption program is incorrectly configured. Salon Nissan Qashqai J11 a used Nissan Qashqai 2J11 is quite an interesting option to buy on the secondary market, since the cars have few age-related sores, and most of the copies on the market have low mileage. If you are the owner of this car model, please describe the problems that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your review that will help readers of our site when choosing a car.